What's up guys, Matt back again with another video and welcome to the 3000 subscribers special. Uh, today we are doing a tier list of my uh, Masterly's figures. So this also includes Masterly's subsets, King Clusters, Masterly's uh, E-Moving, uh, and Masterly's Extra. But uh, I am not alone. I am joined by my very special friend, Tatted Charizard, my boy Brian. Brian, you can say hello to the people. People! <laughs> uh so brian um he's a very good friend of mine he does uh card openings on his channel primarily dragon ball super he does some pokemon card openings and digimon so if you guys want to check him out i will leave uh, a link to his channel in the video description really great content if you guys like dragon ball uh and are interested in the dragon ball super card game uh he is on the hunt for the god rare vegeta uh so if any of you are familiar with that you understand uh how difficult that is how, how's that hunt going brian and do, have you ever seen naruto are you familiar with the character named pain am i familiar with who <laughs> the character named pain oh yeah 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 pain i love pain yes that's how i describe my hunt right now ah <laughs> that's uh that's depressing yeah man i've heard of female but a lot of other people have had you know a lot of less luck female than me some dude opened up like 17 cases and didn't get it, and you know, just, you know that hurts. That hurts the soul. It, 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 I'm sure it does. Well, uh, let let's get into this tier list, guys. I I've uh, I brought Brian just to uh, uh, he watches a lot of my videos, so I wanted to get I his do. opinion. Um, I I'm here for the opinion giving. He's a big fan. Uh, so. I'm <laughs> so we we've ordered the tier list from s a b c d and then the subsection here which i'll explain in a section so i've put explanations by each uh tier so that you guys understand what i what my like thoughts are and this will be ordered so each tier will be ordered i'm gonna do my best uh, to do that uh s is perfect figures are the best figures you can get so like these are figures that i would tell people like yeah you you can pay like well over market price and it's worth it to buy this figure uh a is like a really good figure that maybe uh you know is worth paying a little bit over market price it's not perfect but it's really really good um b is like okay like i would buy it at you know msrp whatever it sells for is like a maybe an overseas release or something i wouldn't buy it for anything above that uh c is like eh it's like okay the figure's fine there's nothing that's like awful about it it's just maybe not picking up right away uh and then d is bad like just don't buy the figure it, it's it's pretty bad i i don't think there's going to be a lot in d uh because master lee's is like pretty pretty freaking good um but, uh, and, and I usually just don't buy those figures when I don't feel good about them. Uh, so you're probably going to see a lot in S and A, uh, but this is going to be subjective. This is my opinion, um, with maybe some of Brian's input, uh, combined with, uh, you know, um, maybe some, some thoughts of mine that have changed since I've reviewed these. And also, um, these are mostly going to be figures that I, uh, have owned or currently own. So some of these I might've sold and I'll explain each one as I go through. Um, so, Brian, are you ready, my friend? Yes, sir. And also, I must say, if anyone's wondering what MSRP stands for, it stands for Merchant Suggested Retail Price. Now you know. Yeah, now you know. Yeah, ba basically, whatever, like if you go to a store and the Nintendo Switch is $300, that's what the MSRP of the, of the, of the product is. If someone's selling it for $400, that means it's above MSRP. Uh, so you're Correct. paying a premium. All right, so let's do like, this. I feel like that's something, you know, a lot of people don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let, so I was let, like, you know, I'm going to talk about that. Yeah. So we'll start with the bottom tier, right? So the never had or don't have yet. So these are figures that I never bought or uh, I don't um, plan on buying for one reason or another. So there's only two figures on here that I plan on buying eventually. And that's the first two. Like I said, this is ordered. So the first one, uh, is the mask Saiyan Bardock from, uh, it is, I think the very first Dragon Ball super or super Dragon Ball heroes, uh, Ichiban Kuji. Um, it's, it's basically a Bardock figure, but it's when he was the mask Saiyan in super Dragon Ball heroes. Um, I think it's a really cool looking figure, uh, very unique. We don't get uh, a lot of Mask Saiyan uh, figures, which, you know, is a 
cool that's the cool thing about super dragon ball heroes right like you get all these unique characters um it, right. it would be great to represent that on my shelf um but i just you have that one uh that one mass saying uh of the rose variety yeah back yeah then. goku rose yeah but uh this one's bardock so you know it'd I mean, be nice to kind of have that too but just uh, haven't really uh, I, I I buy a lot of other figures, usually the newer ones, so you know the chance just hasn't really come around. But who knows? Maybe in the future. Um, highly recommend checking that one out. Uh, the next one is the Master Lee's E Moving Teen Gohan. Um, he has two interchangeable heads. Uh, one uh, with him as Super Saiyan two, the other one as a Super Saiyan when he's like crying right before he goes Super Saiyan two. Um, that's, oh, that's what. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'm most interested in um, because I don't. I, I have a, the Grandista Teen Gohan where he has his cape. You can change out uh, his head to Super Saiyan 1 or 2. You can change out his arms. Uh, but I usually leave him on my shelf with the cape on and his Super Saiyan hair. So I would like to have like a figure of him as just a regular Super Saiyan in that moment, like powering up. Um, oh, yeah. So that's why I'm kind of interested in it. Um, I am hesitant just because the Super Saiyan 2 head looks weird, so that makes me wonder if, like, the rest of the figure might look weird. Um, so maybe people in the comments can let me know, but that's why that's there. Uh, and then the rest are just figures I haven't, like, really had an interest in. Um, there's the two Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas from the same Kuji as the Mask Saiyan. It's the Super Dragon Ball Heroes Kuji. Um he's there's one of him with black pants and one with him of with white pants so the black pants one is xeno gogeta so there's barely any difference um we just have so many gogetas and that goes for the other ones on this uh tier where like there's just so many gogeta figures um i have no interest in so getting cool, you know more <laughs> um shallot i never really i played a little bit of dragon ball legends and shallot is whatever i didn't really have an interest in getting him and then um the vegito kind of falls into the same category as uh, gogeta where uh you know i have enough and this uh, super saiyan rose goku black uh just no interest i thought he looked weird in the pictures so if he looks weird in that picture alone like yeah. it looks like he like i don't know some of this face i'm just not feeling it, it yeah it just it it looks weird so great value brand goku black he's like hey there kids i mean when i have other figures that we'll talk about uh on this tier list um like i, I don't really have a reason i would love to get like a, a master lease of goku black that like looks really really good but the grandista ones that i have which aren't on this tier list like they're freaking awesome so you know until something really uh, makes me want to get that over those then yeah whatever so that's that it's pretty straightforward just wanted to go through all those real quick but now we'll start placing the ones that are all down here um i think i've compiled the list of of all of them master Lee's, king cluster etc for dragon ball um so i'll try to do this as orderly as possible we'll, we'll just start with krillin so this krillin we'll try to keep this without being so much chaos <laughs> yeah 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 I'll, I'll i'll try and go through each set as I come across the figure. So, um, Krillin, this one is the one from, uh, I think this is the one from warriors who protect the earth. Uh, so that, that came with the, with the Kaioken Goku, right? No, no, no. So this one, uh, this one has Piccolo, Tien, Yamcha, Krillin, and, and Chaozu, maybe Chaozu. No, not Chaozu, but it has the Goku Gohan, the one uh, from, oh. uh, of, of okay. them together. Um, uh, we'll, we'll go through all of them, uh, but this one I think it's it's a B tier. Like it, it's okay, yeah, it's like it's not that bad, but you know it's not really like kind of giving it like anything really special. You know, it's not really bringing the whole lot to the table, but it's pretty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I 100% I agree. Like he's a good size. He's got everything you want in a figure. You know, shading, sculpt, everything. It's probably I would give him probably like a seven out of seven for a figure. Um, oh yeah, dude, and that expression that he's making right there. So like it's you know they captured it first. A hundred percent, yeah, and, and that's what I think is is really cool. Like it, it's it's kind of it's I think it's the moment when um like people are starting to die in the Saiyan saga against Nappa and and Vegeta, and he's just getting kind of like uh, frustrated. Um, I think that's where it's from. That's just me uh, talking off the top of my head. There is a variation of this figure from a different set, which is um. 
I think this is the Strong Chains one. Um, I think that set had Chaozu in it. Uh, so... Krillin. Yeah, yeah, he's just like, hmm, smug Krillin. Uh, he's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> it's literally the same figure, except one of his hands is, like, turned up, and his, his face is different, but that's it. Um, no. So, I, I mean, they're exactly the same. There's no reason... Um, for me to put either one in a different place. Uh, they're they're pretty much the same. It's just basically, what do you prefer Krillin to look like? Um, do you want him to look serious? Or do you want to look him kind of smug? Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll do. Uh, we'll finish up the the warriors who protect the Earth set. Uh, who's next down here? Um, well, we'll do this one. So I think this is an S tier figure. This Goku and Dude, Gohan. Yeah, that's such a nice. Like they use that in like their like title like in between things yeah the uh the eye catcher i think that's what it's called yeah yeah it yeah um um yeah now it's stuck in everyone's head now it's it's in everyone's head chala head chala is now playing in your head um it's it's super iconic it's a super cute figure i think every time i show someone that figure especially like girls they're like oh it's adorable like i need it um <laughs> There's a last one prize version of it that I don't have. Um, where oh, so the gi's different. The the gi is a little brighter orange. Um, yeah. More and, like manga. Yeah, and Goku's face and Goku and Gohan's face they're uh, painted a little more different. Like I think the one on the left is more anime based, and the one on the right is based off of a panel in the manga that Toriyama drew as a as a bonus or something. Um, okay. so very slight differences and that's going to, you know, go towards, Hey, what's your personal preference? Like, what do you want your figure to look like? The last one prize is Japan exclusive and it's way more expensive. Um, oh, yeah. but like the regular price is sold out everywhere and you're going to have to go on eBay to buy it. So it kind of doesn't matter at that point. Um, yeah, it's like figure. and really at that point. Yeah. I mean, um, if you love Goku and Gohan, I, th- I think it's great. Uh, oh yeah. For sure. The must have. Let's see what else from this set. Piccolo. Um, I think this is a really good Piccolo figure. Um, yeah. I, I love Piccolo. I, I think he deserves uh, more a- attention. Um, I'm glad he's a main character in the upcoming movie. Um, but uh, that figure specifically captures um, him fighting the Saiyans in the manga so perfectly. Like, his eyes, his face, like... It is, it's really good. Like, I have to do a review on it eventually. I haven't yet, um, but I really have to. It, I was it's, like, bro, really I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I have no idea what this is. Um, I was like, you're going to lie. So I was like, yeah, bro, I, I love it too. I watched the whole video. I'm like, I was about to make a full out of it. I was like, well, I'll jump in here in a second when I can say something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just based off of that little picture, like, can yeah, you, like can you I was tell? At it, I was so quiet because I was staring at it really hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's a really great figure. There, there's not much you can say about it. I think it's really good. Um, I wouldn't yeah. say it's like one of the best in my collection, but I have a very strong fondness for it. Um, I think it would look really good next to that smug Krillin variation. Uh, I, 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 I have them actually oh, right next to the... I have the Determined Krillin on my uh, Saiyan Saga shelf, so I have them together. I remember the video. I remember. I, I remember. You remember? <laughs> uh, I remember. Tien. I think Tien um, is... Yeah, that's a good thing. Maybe. Yeah, he, he, that's another one that I also need to make a video on. If I, I, I Did I make a video on it? No, I haven't. I did the ones on Yamcha. I, I, just, I was staring at it earlier whenever you said uh, who was in this set. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's just... It, it's the same thing as Piccolo, right? It's because these are Dragon Ball EX figures, so... Yeah, dude, they just... I can, like... I don't know if that's, like... Uh, the, just from like the little bit of shading, I don't know if like that, like a shadow. Sorry, I'm stuttering. I can't. I'm not you mean the the lines under his eyes? Yeah, like yeah. what I can see. Like it, it just gives him like those accents to give like the figure a little more personality and and like replicate the art style from the manga. That's what the Dragon Ball EX figures are so good at, dude. I agree. Uh, and then I think this is the last one in the set, Yamcha. I think Yamcha's... You have done a review on this one. Yes, I have done a review on this one. Um, there is a variation where his face and hands yeah, are different. Say, yeah, I, I think... You haven't done that one though, right? N- yes, I have. It's a it's an older video. Um, he's oh, from okay. a different I, set. I haven't done that one yet. Um, 
I, I think I think it's cute. You know, uh, this one definitely has more personality. What's that? I said, isn't that when he's doing his spirit ball all the time? Yeah, from when he fights Kami in the original mm -hmm. Dragon Ball. Um, that's when he's doing the spirit ball. And then the other one, I guess, is more so like him in the Saiyan saga. Um, it's just it's shit. Yeah, I, I, I really, really, really like um, this Yamcha figure. But um, I, I don't... I wouldn't say it's like one of my preferred figures. You know, I, I'm not a huge Yamcha fan. I like the character. Um, and even though it does have a lot of personality, uh, it just, you know, kind of pales in comparison to some of the others that you'll see on this list. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't ask, um, like, I, I might accidentally cuss and stuff. Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> At this point in the video, I think we should be okay. Um, okay, cool. I was, I was all looking at the clock. I was like, how long have we been recording? I was like, are we fired? <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting started. Um, like, yeah. This is going to be a longer video, guys, as you can see. Um, oh, yeah. Bunk it up, buttercups. Yeah. Sit down. Sit yeah. down. 3K subscriber uh, special. Uh, three hours long. Texas. Um, Jesus Christ. Three hours, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Not three hours. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's do some more from Strong Chains since I feel like Strong Chains is kind of like a continuation of this set. Yeah, um, we're chaining along on this Strong Chain. See what I did there? Uh, I hate you. Um, <laughs> I I don't know if I want to put that in B tier. Um, this kid Gohan, he comes with the smug Krillin. So yeah, it, like. I mean, go ahead. I'm sorry. I mean, I was gonna say like so it. I mean, they come together. So it's not that bad since like it's he's a, so it's a bonus, you know? And he yeah, looks I, he looks pretty good. It's the Namek yeah, saga. He scales very well too. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I definitely feel like he should he belongs in the B tier. Maybe. Yeah, he's maybe good. like down here. Maybe and like he, not as good as that, Yamcha. You don't go eh. You don't go eh. When you look at that, you go, oh, okay, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, that's okay. It's cool. I can see that. He's he's four inches. Um He's cute. Um, what I think, I list. <laughs> yeah. What I think should go here is his his variation from World Tournament Super Battle because this is a standalone figure and it's the exact same figure, just his head is different. Um, and even though he looks really good, I yeah, mean, he's like a four inch he... figure and he costs like forty dollars. Oh, yeah. So I, I, I think price is definitely a significant factor when tiering this stuff because it's like, okay, if I have to pay X amount of dollars for this figure, is it worth it, you know? Yeah, because the reason we're putting the smaller uh, variation of Gohan up top in B tier is because he comes with the Krillin. He comes there. with Krillin, exactly, yeah. yeah. So, But this one is a C because he comes by himself. And you're basically getting the same figure that you would get with Krillin but with just a different head. Now, don't get me wrong. The variation looks dope. Like, yeah, yeah. he's like real big hair and his headband and stuff like that. But if you just want a Gohan figure that scales really well, you're better off just getting a pair of with Krillin. Yep, well said. Um, which Thanks. I think also this one belongs in C tiers. Uh, Chaozu is the. It's a Pokemon. Uh, I think it's a Pokemon, Vegeta. I'm gonna catch it. Um, Sorry, instincts over here kicking in. My <laughs> Vegeta. Uh, uh, random Nappa. <laughs> Uh, so I think this is the smallest figure in my collection. Um, I paid like, he, he didn't come out in the United States. Uh, so I paid like $80 or something for him. And he's like as big as my thumb. Uh, and he's just oh like God. on a little stick cause he's floating doing his psychokinesis. So, uh, he's not bad cause he looks really good. Like, and you can change out his head and his hands, um, for different expressions but for his price, like, dang, dude, like, it's really hard to justify. How much for him just alone? That's, that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, he's 80, 80 bucks. Oh, my God. Sorry, I, I didn't catch that. My bad. Yeah, yeah, he didn't come bundled with anybody. He didn't come with TN. He, he, he was in a different set outside of TN. You want Jiangsu? You want this Pokemon? $80. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why he was so expensive, dude. You got a Pokemon. Yeah, po Pokemon are very expensive uh, nowadays. Um, right. So Chatsu's cool, but like 
not worth the money and he's I mean, really small so like you have to really like chaotzu if you want to get I mean, this the interchangeable figure. stuff's cool you know like it's cool that that's a thing but like still 80 dollars. yeah so, like, it's it's really hard to justify maybe 40 40 sounds like a good price for that like the interchangeable stuff like and you're getting a child too and it's master lease okay so we gotta take that into account too but i mean still like 80 dollars. yeah it's a like, lot it's a lot and of he's a, so small like yep um uh, moving on uh, this is also from Strong Chains, uh, one of the better figures in my collection. Um, also because I display him with his other head, which is Jackie Chun. So you can make him Master Roshi or Jackie Chun in that very suave black gi that he always wears when he's Jackie oh, Chun. Yeah. Um, so he came with three heads. He has like a, he has the Jackie Chun head, he has this one, oh. and then he has one with, uh, with him like this but without his sunglasses, and he's like yelling. Um, like when he does the Mafuba, um, oh, okay. and he's doing his freaking turtle pose. I have to review the figure. I have to. Re- I know there's a lot that I haven't done what yet, are you guys. Doing? I know. I'm sorry. I I'm just really busy all the time. Um, you are. You know. You still need to finish our Pokemon video. I know. So. I still have a video to edit for your your channel. Which, by the way, guys, go watch the card opening video that I did with him. Uh, it's uh, <gasps> it's near and dear Why to my heart. Why did I bring that up? <laughs> um. But no, dude, I, I I really like that figure. I love Master Roshi as a character. He's definitely one of my favorites. Um, it, it, it's not like a an absolute must have, like ten out of ten. But I would I would pay a premium. Dude, three changeable heads. That's that's pretty that's pretty dope. Like, yeah, yeah. I think that's cool. I like it when figures do that. You know, I wish they would do that more with like Goku figures because like you know, why do I need to pay like ninety dollars each for two of the same figures? That's just a a color swap. You know. Now um, you're asking. Too much. Yeah, yeah. Bandai's not gonna <laughs> listen. Um, Go- Goku sells. Interchangeable Gokus. No. <laughs> How about two Android sixteens? Um, oh, but this one's looking to the this side. This one's looking that way. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, why did they do that? Can't can't wait for that review. Um, and my oh, wallet yeah. is ruining it. Uh, yeah. But, but yeah, that that Master Roshi is pretty good. Uh, who else is in Strong Chains? Uh, this Goku no. is. Um, is that the one where he's like pulling his wristband? Yeah. Uh, is he, is it's probably no? it's probably the best base Goku figure I have. Is he standing? Is that the one where he's walking or standing still? He's standing still and he's pulling his wristband. It's not that one that's like that I did that that's lopsided. Um, okay. I don't think I've done a review for this. Uh, okay, it, I must say, I, is because if he, if I'm imagining him like if his legs are kind of like you know he's like V posed a little bit like I can see that being done. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, he, then he, he's probably the best base Goku figure out there. Like, okay. like 10 or inches like, tall, great. um, right. really high quality. Like his muscles are like super good. He kind of reminds me of, uh, um, one of the, the illustrations for base Goku during the tournament of power in the, um, in the manga. Uh, but I, th- I think it, I think it was something else. I think it's based on like some type of promo material for Goku. Um, but really good figure. Uh, the other one is the best base Vegeta uh, out there, which is uh, in strong chains. Um, him and his oh. like, he's got his arms crossed. He's looking up uh, to the side. Um, yeah, I can see the expression in his face. Looks really good. Yeah, he looks really good. I have him on my Android Saga shelf. Uh, definitely like the best base Vegeta out there. Um, that you that you could get. Um, they're just really they're they're expensive. I don't think these came out overseas. Um, I think Strong Chains was a Japan exclusive set. So Chaozu, uh, Krillin and Gohan, Master Roshi, and Goku and Vegeta were all Japan exclusive. Damn. Yeah. And you haven't done rev- uh, videos for the Goku or the Vegeta? I have not. Yeah, I haven't done a, rev- a review video on most of Strong Chains, so I I gotta I gotta fix that. Um, what else? Okay, let's go over the variations. So, video. What? <laughs> Nothing. Well, I I um I don't have these figures personally, but I think it's okay for me to talk about them because they're just color swaps of the Goku and Vegeta. Um, they are very expensive. I think it costs like two to three thousand dollars to get all four of these figures. Oh my God. Uh, and I mean, I I would say. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put them all here. Um, I mean, they're they're really good. I'm going to order them like this. 
So, same figures, as you can see. It's the same exact uh, figures. Like, the mold and everything, they just swap out Goku's head. They make Vegeta's eyes look in a different direction. Um, but, uh... They're very expensive, they're very sought after. They're actually one of my most sought after figures, but I'm okay putting them on the tier list just because I know I will love them because they're gonna be exactly like, you know, the, the Strong Chains figures that I have, um, just as their, their forms. I personally uh, think the base forms look better um, than the, the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan forms, but you know, them and their Super Saiyan forms, ugh, it would be sexual to have those on my shelf. It would be sexual. Very sexual. Oh my boy. Um, I mean, dude, just from looking at the the pictures that we got right here, their hair looks so good. Like, yeah. Especially Vegeta's. I mean, I can't really see Goku's. Or, oh, I can kind of see Goku's once I actually like use my, my lookers. <laughs> when I use my eyeballs. Yeah, when I use those things. Um. Yeah, I don't have them yet, but uh, I I think that they they look really good. So. Um, I uh, I will I will definitely get them eventually, but they're a lot of money, so it's going to have to be, like, a very... I might do that for, like, the 4,000 subscriber special or something. Nah, bro, make it the 5K one. The 5K special? I think I that's think, fair. I, I, well, I mean, we're going to hit it this year anyway, so... I hope so. 5K special, I'll I'll get the Dragon Ball Memories. Channel, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Why do you guys hit the like yeah. button? Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, and then I'll buy the Dragon Ball Memories figures and do a review. There we um, go. You guys want to see those figures? Let's get the channel 5K. There we go. Done. Got motivation. Let's do it. Done. All right. Let's go over a very popular uh, Kuji. Um, the oh, World Tournament that's... Super Battle. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, this Vegeta is just amazing. That Vegeta is amazing. Like The art style from, that he captured from that dude is so good. I just love that they have like the more rounded eyes and stuff from like early Dragon Ball Z when Akira Toriyama was still like kind of drawing his characters like that. Like, uh, it, it, it's just, it looks so good. It, it looks so good. Um, so like if you, if you like uh, Vegeta and you like early Dragon Ball Z, like, you have to get that. Like, it's so good. Like, Scouter Vegeta. You can change it's... out his Scouter, too. You can take it on or off. Oh, damn. You can, like, be like, after, you know, he says the over 9,000. Over 9,000! Uh, you know, that's so funny that people, like, that's, like, one of, like, the most iconic line for Dragon Ball. Oh, but, yeah. Like, it's, literally only, it's literally only said once. And it's a mistranslation. And in, in the the original sub, it's over 8,000. Oh, really? Yeah. It's it's over 8,000, but uh, in um, the, the Ocean dub, the original Ocean dub, they thought 9,000 sounded cooler. Wow. <laughs> I'm offended by that only because my favorite number is eight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the more you know. Um, Nappa. Where's Nappa? I think Nappa. Uh, Nappa. Vegeta. Uh, I like. I, I think I just like these characters more, but like Nappa definitely deserves to be an A tier. This figure is huge. It's heavy. Dude, he looks great. Yeah. He, he like. Uh, I don't have the last one prize where you can put uh, a version of him with hair. Um, I should have added that on the list somewhere, but like it's, I, I, I just didn't think about it because I felt like, you know, it's the same figure. Uh, I mean, I, it could go in the same tier. I didn't get it because I didn't really feel like I needed to get a second Nappa figure with hair, um, but maybe I'll get it in the future. But yeah, th this figure's awesome. Like big, detailed, can switch a scouter out just like Vegeta, like super good. We need to get a, a poll going for uh, after the video or something, and you know maybe have like people maybe like I don't know people could drop in the comments you know like the figures that they want to see, and then we'll go through and look at the comments and whatever ones that we see the most consecutively, we'll put it a poll and then we'll see you know what people want to see next. Definitely, yeah, I'm down. Um, Cyberman. Yeah. He, he's the same as these guys like he's 35 to 40 dollars i mean you can find him really easily um but for the price like he's he's okay you, he's not like 
go buy it, you know? He's like, yeah, you can buy him, I guess, if maybe you can get a deal on him. But, you know, and it's Cyberman. Like, okay, Cyberman, cool. <laughs> um, uh, I think this is an S-tier figure, bro. The Kaioken Goku from this set. Dude, yes. Oh my god, that was I was waiting to get to that one because I was like, I honestly love that figure so much. Like, it's honestly one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, hold on. I think I would put this here. And frankly, I think I would put this above Vegeta. I love Vegeta. Vegeta's my favorite character. But that Kaioken Goku figure is just next level. Like, the muscles, the paint and shading. Like, it's crazy. It's seriously one of the best figures. Like, and like, because it's like the shading, <clears throat> excuse me, it was not, it's not overbearing. Like, it's just yeah. enough to let you know, like, oh, he's, he's in Kaioken right now. Like, yeah. And then like, the muscles on top of it, it's like, oh, he's times three. Like, he's, he's going, like, ballistic. Yeah. So, captures like, the moment and art style honestly, and everything like, really well. That's, that's a standout on your shelf. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that's my second favorite Goku figure in my entire collection. Uh, we'll, we'll get to the other ones uh, uh, later. Um, since we did Cybermen, I'm going to put Cell Jr. here. I'm going to put him above Cybermen. I'll put him I above Chaozu. Because I, I like him a little bit better, but I still like Gohan better. Um, same deal. Oh, yeah. He's 35 40 bucks, but he's a tiny figure. It's really up to you if you want to get it. He's not one of the best, but you know he's still a nice little figure. Is that, is that Also fair? one of the most recent ones on the Yes. Yeah, one of the no, most I agree. recent reviews. I agree with you. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll go through his set. Uh, Seru. Cell, Cell was... If uh, Cell, here, yes, it, Cell technically came out last year in 2021 in December, but I didn't get the figure till January. So, like, if I had gotten him in December, it would have been really close between him and Cooler as my favorite of 2021. Um, this figure is freaking awesome. Real, like, this figure is freaking honest, awesome. Like, he's he's a master release extra, so he's big. He's like 12 12 inches or so. Um, Really, really tall. Which is also accurate because he is very. Yeah, he should he should be taller than like everybody, um, but the detail, the the likeness, the paint. I like the glossy look on like his black parts. Um, it's a great figure. Like if you don't have Cell, and a lot of people ask me like where to get him. Like if you don't have him, uh, highly recommend picking him up. Okay. Uh, where are we? Uh, Cell. So, who else is from the Omnibus? Um, from this Omnibus, specifically. Cell Omega Shenron. Ooh. 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 Uh, people are gonna hate me for this. Uh, but I think he's... He was my favorite in that entire yeah. set. He, he belongs. And he's like... Oh, that was... That was one of the best figures, man. I, I like... Here's the thing. I don't like GT that much. I don't hate it. I just, I don't like it that much. Um, and the Shadow Dragon Saga is my least favorite part of that entire show. Um, but Omega Shenron is awesome in his design. And when you're talking about merchandising, like if something looks cool, that's a really easy thing to sell as like a figure. Um... And boy, does he look cool. Like, he's huge. He, he's highly detailed. Like, he's just amazing. I I, uh, I wish I had a better spot for him right now because he's literally on the on my bottom shelf uh, with my GT figures. But one day, he's going to be in all his glory uh, in my display. But he's, he's incredible, dude. Honestly, I agree. Because he, he definitely sticks out really well. He's big. He's like one of the most iconic. Uh, well, I wouldn't say iconic. Cause if I think now, I'd say I'm he's iconic. Yeah, I feel like, but I feel like Super Baby Two is more iconic. Yeah. GT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, I was like, fly. <laughs> fly away. Um. Fly away, bird. Fly away, bird. Real breaking, Nate. Uh. Okay, so we did sell. So let's let's talk about trunks. I think trunks is really good. Um, I'd probably put him here, uh, personally. 
Uh, I don't think he's an S tier figure. Um, I really like him. He's another one that's highly detailed, unique, because it's trunks. It's trunks in this form, um, all muscled out and steroids and everything. Um, I think they kind of overdid it with the shading. What was that? I mean, I mean, no. I mean, I I agree with you. Like the the figure looks <clears throat> great, but I remember he did look kind of well off. There, I think it's like they went a little too hard with the black shading all over him. Like it looks really good yeah. and it's it is manga accurate, but I think it was like a little too much. Um, so I, I like it. I like it a lot. Like I'd pay over MSRP for it, but um, I don't think it's as good as Cell and Omega Shenron or the other ones up there really. Sorry, Trunks fans. Yeah, no, it's all right. Like, I mean, plus he doesn't even have a sword, so. <laughs> um, this Gogeta figure, I'm going to put him in B tier. Um, uh, I'll put him at the top of B tier. So he's fine. Um, I think they made his hair a little too orange instead of red. And his body is essentially the same as the greatest Saiyan Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta that's on this list. But uh, he's basically the same figure, but just like not quite as good. Um, for for the price that he's at and everything, like his face looks kind of weird from certain angles. Like he's a good figure. I would pay him for a regular price, but um, there's there's other Gogeta figures that are far superior to that one. Thoughts, Brian? I agree. I'm a big Gogeta fanboy. He's my favorite character in the whole franchise, but there's definitely some better Gogetas down here on this list that yeah. I feel like deserve, uh, you know, that'll definitely have to surpass this one. Yes, sir. Um, but most of the figures in this set are S tier, like this Super Saiyan Broly figure. S that's a S tier figure. Like we've gotten Is that the King Club? No, no, no. This is the this is the Super Saiyan one from the Omnibus. Um, just regular Super Saiyan with yellow hair. Uh, we've gotten a lot of King Cluster Broly's. Like that's pretty much uh, all I ever see of Broly most of the time. But to just Honestly. get yeah, just to get a regular master release of him in his regular Super Saiyan form, still armored up, um, is really really cool. Like I really like this figure. I know they reused a lot of the assets of the wrath form Broly that's also on this list. Um, but for the most part, I think it's just a really cool figure and a great way to represent Broly. It's one of the best in my collection. I agree. Uh, and then finally from Omnibus, uh, Super Saiyan, uh, God, Super Saiyan, Goku and Vegeta doing the pair, uh, Kamehameha and Gallic gun. Yeah. Like, I, I think these are a little bit better, but, like, these two are such awesome figures. Like, I, yeah, I think dude. a lot of people slept on them. I agree, and they they look so cool in the background of your videos, too, because, like, you can kind of see them sitting there. Just... Yeah, you, you can see them right now on my camera, I think, if I move my head. Uh, They're yeah. honestly... And then, like, <laughs> it's such an iconic moment from the movie, too. Like, them doing, you know, yeah. working as a... The only time I can think they ever did that before was whenever they were inside the Yep. Uh, and that, that wasn't even canon. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Really, really love those two. I think they're a perfect centerpiece for my uh, Broly shelf, too. Um, I think a lot of people slept on those and uh, are probably regretting it now. Um, where do, where do we they go are, from here, man? I'm pretty sure the price of them went up, didn't it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I think you can still buy them. I think you can still uh, buy them for regular price, um, but not for oh, long. That's good. Um, let's do this Wrathform nah, Broly. This, <laughs> <laughs> um, this Wrathform Broly uh, is what I was talking about. Super Broly, best Broly. Yeah, it's basically Great Ape Broly without being Great Ape. Um, and... Uh, it's I, I mentioned a lot of like you know same body and everything as Super Saiyan Broly, so they're kind of like on the same playing field. I just think he looks cooler personally. Um, I think his wrath form is really unique. It reminds me a lot of Super Saiyan Four. Um, 
and was the first Master Leagues Broly we got. And, you know, I, I just think he looks cool. I do have a review for him. It was from right before I went on a hiatus on my channel for a while. Um, and it was a pretty strong figure for me to end on uh, during that time. What else? What else? Let's see. I'm I'm tempted to just go and do a bunch of freaking Brolies. <laughs> Let's do it, Broly time! All right, Broly time. Uh, let's start with the very first King Cluster. Uh, <laughs> there's two here. One is the last one prize. Um, it's just a color var variation. They they've done that with three different King Cluster Brolies as the last one prize. Um, okay, <laughs> I think we're okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways. Um, the main thing, cut that part out. <laughs> monetization has been saved. Um, if I cut this out, Chala had Chala just start playing in the background. So, uh, sorry. What I was trying to get at is we got this Broly up here. I'll put his last one prize next to him because they're basically the same figure. They're the exact wow. same. The only difference is his Boz ear wrapped around his waist is like metallic on one. That's it. Um... I, I think they're okay. Like, I don't think they're worth a premium. Um, just because, even though they were, like, the very first King Cluster Broly, um, his head is kind of small for the body. Like, it, it looks unproportional. So. I mean, yeah. He kind of does. Like, kind of just sitting there looking at him right now. Like... Yeah. He's, a, he, he's cool, but his head looks kind of small. Um, and then what they did is they did the same thing. Um, I'll put this one like here. So they did the same thing where it's like, let's just, we're going to use the same body, change his arm to be, instead of held out, it's folded up and we're going to change the head and the head's better. They actually reused the head mold for that, this Super Saiyan Broly up here, believe it or not. Um, so this one looks a lot better. He's proportioned a lot better. Um, he's, he's more menacing. Um, uh, it's the, uh, I, 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 you know what? I think I'm actually missing a Broly on this show, <laughs> this list because they look no. so similar. There's another one that's just like this, but his arm is like clenched instead of held up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. I would put it in the same place. Cause they're almost exact. It, like the exact same figure, but like, holy crap, Bandai shoved Broly figures down our throats. Um, Seriously. But I mean, they look good. They're more proportional. People make fun of this one a lot because it looks like he's singing opera, but I think he's really good. I, I think he's his his face is designed the best. His colors are are finally like perfected. Um, and the pose, he's just like freaking out, and he's he's powering up. Um, he's he's going on a rampage. Um. I, I don't get me wrong. I love Broly guys. It's just like there's just been so many, um, and they're they're so similar. There are other characters. Yeah, but they're just so similar. You know which one isn't similar? This one. Oh god, is that the veiny one? That's the veiny ugly one that has a bunch of QC uh, issues. So uh, a god, lot of, a lot of people like this figure. I understand why. Um, I just watched that video the other day, too, and I was like, what in the hell? Yeah, people either love it or hate it. So a lot of people love it because they think it's unique and it looks cool with all the veins and everything. Personally, no, I, hate I, the veins. I just think they went a little too far with it. It, it looks kind of gross. Um, it doesn't look like Broly anymore to me um, in, in some ways. And the, the issues with paint and... His, his foot support not being able to stick on, which is like, not just me, like a lot of people, most people have that issue. Um, I don't think it's worth it. I, 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 I do not suggest people to buy that figure. I, I don't like it. I think there's way, as you can see, there are other options. <laughs> there are other options here that are way better. Um, there's, so, if you need a Broly, I promise. There's plenty. There's a plus 30 of Broly. Yeah. So, um... I I, uh, I really, really just think that it's not worth buying him. And uh, one, the best Broly, the best King Cluster Broly is this boy. Uh, I'm going to put him oh, yeah. right here. Mm-hmm. That's where he belongs. Yeah. So I... I mean, Kyle King Goku is super sick, but do that Broly. It's, he's just, he's perfect. Um, he's everything oh, you want in a Broly figure. 
he's probably the more popular version of Broly. Uh, I personally prefer Dragon Ball Super Broly, but I understand why people love the original Dragon Ball Z Broly, and this figure is just really, really awesome. It, it's him doing his, like, uh, gigantic blaster whatever attack. Like, I forget the name, but, like, he's... It, it's perfect. Um, the only bad thing about the figure is that his, like, um, his cloth around his pants is, like, uh, too light of a color. It should be a darker red, but that's, like, just a small little nitpick. We're gonna nitpick, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what we're gonna say. Yeah, like, if there's anything to say bad about it, that's, like, literally the only thing you can say, but it's not even, like, that glaring or that noticeable. Um, it, it's a near-perfect figure. Yeah, I actually bought this uh, figure for my buddy. Yeah, and then you regretted it because you wanted it for yourself. <laughs> I did, but hey, you know, I said I'd give it to him, so I did. <laughs> that was like a two hundred dollar freaking figure. I almost, I almost dropped the F bomb. I'm gonna try my best not to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, this Broly figure. I'm going to put, I think I will put him right here. And then his variation with the blue hair. I like the blue hair better uh, just because it's so unique. So these figures are pretty good. I know Back to the Film is very popular. Um, but they just like, so So the blue hair figure is actually like pretty good. Um, but the yellow one, like he had a couple QC issues. Like mine leans to the side. Uh, he had a chip on his tooth. Um, but other than that, like, pretty good. Like, I know there was a lot of QC issues in Back to the Film, which was a little disappointing. But um, I would actually probably put them at the top of B tier. Like, they're pretty good. I would pay them, pay for them at market price. I probably would not pay them for over market price. But they are unique, hard to find, um, and it's good to get that kind of representation. Thoughts, Brian? Blue hair one, the blue hair one, I would probably pay over price for. I mean, yeah, just me. Part of me, so, part of me only want like kind of wants to separate them because they they are kind of different. It, do it. I, they're they're kind of different, you know. They're not they just a palette swap. Like there are some I'm differences. Looking at them right now, like the yellow one, like I feel like the yellow one would have looked cooler if he would have had all of his jewelry still on. Well, like, that's I what he looks like in in. Broly Second Coming when he fights Gohan. Yeah, I, I know. Like I remember, like I remember, like, he still looks sick and all, but like still, like I feel like if he had all that jewelry, I, mean, I feel like he would look cooler. Because I don't know, like the blue hair with all the fucking like little like bandana on him, still, like I don't know. I just feel like that's what makes that figure look big. Yeah, like yeah. I, I, I think um, uh, th there's an exception here, like especially because the the yellow haired one is the only one that has the QC issues in my collection. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the blue-haired one doesn't really have any issues, I think. Um, all right. Uh, we'll, we'll go through back to the film, then. Who's Who else can I spot here? Um, back to the film. Back to the... Oh, my boy. Oh, yep. Yeah. No, nah, dude, before, before Omega. I, I think Cell is better. <laughs> You do. I think sells better, dude. I mean, okay, okay. I was a little, I was a little hasty to say before Omega, because like that Omega figure is awesome. I that mean, Cooler is Cooler is amazing. Like he was the best figure I got last year, and yeah, like that that Cooler is amazing, and you cannot get him cheap either. No, he you, is. He's gone. Like if you didn't get him, he's gone. Uh, you have yeah. to you have to go on eBay or something and pay pay a okay, lot of now, money. What, now what about the other two? What about Cell and Omega? Are they still... I I think you can still pre-order them, but no, actually I'm wrong. You could probably still pre-order Omega Shenron, but Cell's gone too. He's gone. Like you're gonna have to pay a, a premium probably right at this well, point. I feel like we should take that into account, shouldn't we? I mean, sure, but I mean, I I feel like I have a differing opinion a lot with the community like the community will be like king piccolo is the best in dragon ball ex mystical adventure and then i'll say fair but i think tau pai pai is better so like king piccolo might get sold out and tau pai pai might still be available but i think tau pai pai is the better figure you know 
Okay. I just wanted – I know people were going to be wondering this, so I figured I'd ask for it. Yeah, them. like people might th- uh, throw me you know, to the dogs for putting Omega at the top for right now. But I I, st- no, I, I agree with you, but I just know there's somebody out there that's going, why? Why? <laughs> Someone's <laughs> typing up a comment right now like, your opinion <laughs> is stupid <laughs> and wrong. Um, but I think Cell's better than Cooler. Cooler's amazing. Uh, best figure last year. But if I had gotten Cell – in December and made a video, he would have he would have beaten Cooler on the list. He's definitely a he's definitely a dope look figure though. Yeah, in, incredible figure. Um, I'm glad we're getting more Cooler this year too in his other forms. Dude, yes, the dude. I can't believe it's a double too. I can't believe you get one. You get freaking. Uh, well, it's not going to be two and one. It's going to be just like these Brolies that came out. So they're going to be they're both going to be prize C. But they're going to be two separate prize C figures, which is stupid. Oh, yeah. Wow. Stupid, That's... but you know we're going to buy it because. Don't you cooler. think people are going to want more? I I personally would want the the regular. original. Yeah. Pur- purple cool, not me- yeah, like meta cooler is cool. Hey, yeah, but he's, cool. he's not cooler than cooler. Yeah, it's cooler than freezer. Um. I, I think his first form is going to be the one that people want the most, uh, especially because it's going to pair really well with his final form. But, I mean, you're going to have to get all three. I mean, who is yeah. it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, back to yeah. the film. This figure is slept on. He is slept on. I, I'm... Uh, ooh, I think I want to put him here. Um, he's at a... Ooh. <laughs> oh, I think I want to put him here. I think I'm going to put him here. <laughs> This Gogeta is slept on, dude. It, it, he's got his halo. He looks really good. Like, I, I've only loved him more and more as time has gone on. Um, I don't he, think I've seen a video on him. He's he's from back to the film. So he's he's based off of the Fusion Reborn Gogeta. Um, oh, in the so movie. Orange jacket, got his halo. Like, he looks real good. Um, Damn, I'll have to go and check that out. Yeah, like... I think when I reviewed him, I probably would have like put him like down like here or something. But as time oh, has gone on, he's become one of my favorites. Like I don't think he's quite S tier just because there are better Gogetas, but he's really, really good. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'll agree with you then. Uh, Sorry, I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, where is he? Oh, <laughs> I was like, where is he? Back to the film. Uh, yeah, Super Saiyan. Oh, that's the one where he's sticking his hand out. Yeah, when he fights Broly. Oh, dude, yeah, no, I, I agree. That but, that's a sick figure. As he, that was uh, a really sick moment. And if you pair it with that Berserker Broly up there on S tier, I feel like that would look really sick. So I, I personally think he's my favorite uh, Vegeta figure, but I'm, I'm gonna try and be a little subjective because I understand why people don't think he's like incredible um but you know what? it's my tier list so screw you <laughs> i think i would put him like here um wow i think i might even put him here he's really wow. even more than base vegeta huh I, I think he's my favorite he's my I, I mean i'm biased i love super saiyan god as a form i think it's super unique um that fight when he fights broly is one of my favorite moments of the movie uh, Dude, it's honestly one of the biggest flexes Vegeta has ever got to do. Yeah, for a he while. he just goes God, and he's just like, sit down, bro. <laughs> like for real, like he. I mean, he was just like, all right, I went Super Saiyan, you know, this and that, got a little thrown around, then he went God, and it was just like, all right, he's just we're like, done. listen, we are not the same. <laughs> yeah, I am constructed differently. You're not that guy. <laughs> you're not that guy, but you're not that yeah. guy. But then Broly was you're like, not- I am that guy. I want to shake his hand. I want to shake your hand. Um, Yeah, uh, I love this figure. Uh, Just there's this full blown bias. I'm so sorry, guys. Full blown bias. Um, And then I'm not sorry. sorry. Uh, This figure also super slept on. uh, Golden Frieza. Um, People like the one that's on your really small shelf with just the other two. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, yeah, I have him for the Resurrection F shelf. Um, Okay. I think that's also a good choice, too. He, he's also slept on. I think people are like, oh, his eyes look weird. No, they don't. Y- you look at it in person, it looks you fine. Look weird. Yeah, I'm you, sorry, you look weird. Yeah, you look weird. 
He's a yeah. great figure. He's really, really good. Um, detailed really well. One of the best Frieza figures in my collection. There's only one Frieza figure that I like better. Not and a lot of good Frieza figures, dude. There's not. They they always mess something up. Um, but this one's my second best one. The best one I have is the Master Super Stars Freezer? piece. Freezer? Freezy Poo. Uh, Freezy Poo! Um, that's it for Back to the Film, I think. I think um, so. Since we're talking about Freezy Poo, we'll do Freezy. the other Omnibus. Uh, I think this one's an eh. Um, Which one was this again? This is the one that pairs with this Goku. So, like, I mean, they're both good size figures and they come together. And this Goku figure is like, he's he's okay. Um, I, I, I'd probably put him, like here no maybe here yeah yeah there it's the tournament of power one I, I reviewed this like late last year um they both come together i also put this one in the same review um i think this one's a little bit better um the he, super saiyan, right? yeah the super saiyan comes alone um but uh goku and frieza come together but frieza frieza's fine you know he's he's fine just like his face just seems a little off. It's cool that he has his halo and yeah. his tail is like ripped off from fighting Jiren. So like the attention to details there, but then like his body looks kind of like too humanoid in its like build, like muscular build. It looks off. Um, so I don't know. It, it just doesn't do it for me. And then this Goku's like kind of cool. Um, it's lazy that they just kind of like did this, but like, I guess it's cool that he's got the super Saiyan shaped hair, but it's black. Um, but even though this is just a Super Saiyan Goku uh, color swap, I, I like the shading that they did for his hair. Oh, okay. This is the <clears throat> this is from the miraculous conclusion. Yeah, so, yeah. It's the it's the they go back to back and they're doing the the tournament yeah. power when they beat I, Jiren. Yeah, got you. So iconic, but Frieza is just eh, and Goku's fine. You know, Goku's okay. Frieza just kind of kills it with his derpy ass face. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Freezy Pa! Uh, Dende. Uh, Dende is here. Is that the one with the Dragon Balls that roll around? Yeah, but like, they come in this huge plastic case to display them, so you can't really put it anywhere, and it just looks like it's sitting in a plastic case from a from a box that you've opened. Um, and he's supposed to pair with Parunga, who's like really good. Like Parunga's like. Oh, where would I put Paronga? Probably here. Um, huge Under figure, huh? Under the trunks? Yeah, I, I like I I think I just like trunks better. But like even I, like I like big figures uh, when they're eternal dragons. But like, uh, it, it's you know it, it's it's an A tier. Like that's really good. He's a really good figure. Um, but he's Japan exclusive and four hundred dollars. So like. <laughs> Damn. And then, like, Dende's separate, and they're supposed to kind of really come together. Dende should have just been thrown in with Paronga. Um, oh, my God, yeah, if you're paying that price, yeah. Yeah. Dende's, like, $40 or something. Like, Oh, that's, that's kind of a big it. move. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, there's, a, there's, a, there's a trend. Um, <laughs> I think I see it. Uh, who else is in this omnibus? Um, did, I, did I do the... Did I do the whole omnibus? Am I tripping? Oh no, though no, this there's this Gogeta. This Gogeta is really good. Uh, I think How many I think I would put him here. Like it's when he just threw his uh, Soul Punisher or Stardust Breaker, whatever you want to call it. Um, the orb. Yeah, the the orb of doom. Um, that's that's uh the Stardust Breaker. Stardust Breaker. It, it's really good. Um, looks really cool, good size. I like the pose. I like his likeness. Um, but there is a better Gogeta figure on this list that we'll get to. Um, who oh, else? Yeah, I see. You see it? I see do it. You, do you feel it? Um, <laughs> is that it? Did I do this entire omnibus? Let's go down. I feel like I'm missing somebody. No, mm -hmm. we did. Yeah, we did the Broly. There's a Broly in it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got the Gogeta. Oh man, that I think that is that. It's just it's Goku, so Frieza, Broly, and Gogeta. Oh, 
<laughs> That's the stereotypical Omnibus or stereotypical Kuji. Gross. Um, all right, we'll move on. Uh, Shenron. I think Shenron is S tier. Oh, yeah, dude. That's a really sick figure. I remember watching that video and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, iconic. I I'll put him here. Iconic, big, but Japan exclusive at $400. But honestly, I think it's worth it because he's Sh it's Shenron. He's a huge centerpiece. It's literally like anyone's going to look at that dragon and know where it's from. Yeah. I I'll put this one here, though. Uh, Ultimate Shenron because he's really, really good. But he's basically just a recolor of this. Thing. Literally. Like, they just changed his head and some of his scales. So. Yeah, like, here's some new horns. Give you a different shade of, you know, red and change your tongue a little bit and the color of some of these. And then, bam. New yeah. Figure. So, so he, he's fine. Out. He's fine. But he's $400, too, because he's Japan exclusive. So it's just like. I feel like you can just determine, like, do you want one of these three? And then you just buy it. Like, I'm a crazy person and I get everything. So you don't have to be like me. You can just buy your favorites. Um, yeah, three. Uh, this might be a controversial one. I used to have this figure and I sold it because I don't, I don't like it. And um, obviously the other ones are just recolors of it. Dude, I've been looking at that goofy ass looking <laughs> like Goku, and why the hell does he look like that? So why he's a he... he's based off of an illustration from the Daisenshu, which is basically like a the official power scaling book for Dragon Ball. Um, that was written before Super, though. Um, and they released a King Cluster Goku, so he's really big, like a like King Cluster Broly size. Um, and they had three variations. I think just three variations of um, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, uh, Manga Super Saiyan, which I think is the one in the middle, and then the anime Super Saiyan all the way on the right. <clears throat> uh, I think the likeness is terrible. Uh, I think the figure's way too big for a Goku figure. I just, dude, this thing looks like ass. It, I, I just do not like it. Like, I was... Dude up with his face when i when i bought the the god form i i was very early in collecting so i didn't really understand like the differences between king cluster and stuff and when he got here i did not expect him to be so big and it kind of threw me off um i didn't like that personally um i think broly is one of the only ones who should be a king cluster there are some other characters that i have argued should be king cluster but they're doing masterly's extra now so kind of works out um yeah his arm being up like that looks so dumb. I, I think he's fine. He like the pose is fine. Like, cause I have another figure that's the exact same pose and everything that um, that I recently reviewed, the Zenkai Solid. But he looks so much better, like in the face and everything. Um, Dude, he looks so weird. I am not a fan of that <laughs> one. I, he belongs where he's at. <laughs> All right, so we're we're in agreement, and then the comments will destroy me. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, they can attack me all they want i'll fire back <laughs> let's do let's do mystical adventure since we just did it i think right. i think tau pai pai right, is a, up there yeah i think tau yeah, pai pai like, is an s tier figure probably i mean do you, i would say honestly like i know like you they came together or whatever but, or you didn't you reviewed them together or whatever but uh, I would honestly say the cyborg version is better. Like, I, I agree. I think the cyborg version is better. Um, but I just think the attention to detail looks so good. Yeah, like, but but I think the differences are so small that it's I mean, it, like cool. they can go together. Like it, it's really preference at that point. Um, but honestly, yeah, if you're gonna get one, you might as well just get the cyborg. Yeah, I mean, unless you like him in his like human looking way, then but I just think. He looks more like an assassin with his cyborg stuff on, so I feel like that just, I don't know. And then they killed the figure, like, you know, like, the, the attention, the detail, like, the glossy over, like, the eye part, like, dude, I love that. Yeah, like, <clears throat> excuse me, I, uh, I should probably drink some water, but, uh, I, I'm just so excited and passionate. Alright, sorry. <clears throat> so, I personally, I, I know, sorry, <laughs> I know, um, OG Dragon Ball is not a lot of people's favorites. I, I know, know a lot of 
haven't watched it. I, I know some people haven't even watched it. Um, and I highly recommend that you should because it's the only... There... I have never cried in Dragon Ball Z or GT or Super, but I have cried twice during original Dragon Ball because of some very emotional moments. The music is great. The comedy is amazing. The animation for its time is pretty good, and the art style is is iconic. Um, some of the stories, the characters, like it, it like there's no real. F there aren't like a lot of faults in Dragon Ball, and so so I understand people like aren't hot on like Tao Pai Pai, but he was literally like the first villain in Dragon Ball to defeat Goku. Like he's the f the first one, um, and Goku had to like train with Korin in order to beat Tao Pai Pai. Um, so I just think the figure is iconic. There's only like two other Tao Pai Pai figures, and I don't like SH figure arts because I don't like posable figures. They look like toys to me, um, and I don't like S cultures because I don't think their quality is that good. Um, so if you want a Tao Pai Pai, it's that one, and he's one of the best uh, out there. <clears throat> but yeah, in Dragon Ball, are they screaming and powering up and shooting? Uh, you know, <laughs> you know they have waves every four seconds and no. screaming. No, um, they're I not. Don't think so. They're not. So, uh, Kamehameha know, and stuff is like very uh, special moments. I mean, there I've seen the original Kamehameha. Like that was sick. I, I have seen that. But have you seen Goku fire a Kamehameha out of his feet in order to headbutt Piccolo? Uh, no, I have not. But I have gotta seen watch it. Dragon Ball. <laughs> I've seen, um, I have seen Android Eight die though. Oh yeah, sad. Oh, well, that's in the movie. You're a movie. You're a movie. All right, King Piccolo, uh, also S tier. Oh yeah, for sure. S tier for sure. S same reasons as Tao Pai Pai. Super iconic villain. Probably the most iconic villain from original Dragon Ball. Figure looks good. There's only like one little nitpick where they forgot to put one of his pink spots on the insides of his wrists. So, like that's a uh, an error, but it's fine. Like it's not that noticeable <laughs> unless you point it out. Yeah. Um. And then I'd put Kid Goku here. Um, best Kid Goku figure on the market. Looks so good. Um, captures really everything cool. about it. Like, the attention to detail is immaculate. Superb! Wow! Incredible! Wow! Incredible! Complete! Uh, Pilaf? Uh, I think I like Pilaf better than these these figures, honestly. <laughs> Um, Damn. I mean, dude, the Dragon Balls on that little on that little grant was uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Should we buy at those shoe and my up there too? Yeah, I think they're worth buying at MSRP. You probably uh, won't find them for too much of a premium. Um, my Connect in Japan said that these three figures are going way up in price for some reason. Uh, so people in Japan are just like, "Wow, the Pilaf gang." Uh, and then people in America are, are nerds and don't appreciate peel off. But I think they're they're okay. They're very cute. Um, they're not incredible, but like there's nothing wrong with them, you know. Peel off is also thirty five bucks, so it's like, you know, you're gonna buy a four inch figure for thirty five dollars. You gotta wrestle with that. Yeah, but then you know, I feel like some people like you know, okay, say you have that Shenron figure. How cool would it be? Say you didn't, you know, have those Dragon Balls in front of Pilaf, and you, like, put them underneath your Shen figure. Exactly. Like, some, people, some people might want to do that. Like, that would be pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah. So I think they're better than these little guys. Um, but, like, only oh, worth... Yeah, no, I agree. Like, I would not skip them at all uh, or wait for a sale. Like, I would buy all three. I think $80, $90 total for all three is a very good price. Oh, yeah, um, you get the whole game. Pilaf gang, bro. Gang, gang. Gang, uh, gang. All right, why don't you pick a figure down here? Uh, dude, I want to talk about Jiren. Let's talk about Jiren. Jiren, Jiren, Jiren. Uh, uh yeah. As what is that? I think he should go. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, I agree. The detail, uh, the size. He's a Master League's extra. Like, it sucks that he's Japan exclusive, but I would pay the premium. Um, he, he was in the first Omnibus, so this was the very first Omnibus they started in Akuji. Uh, really, really good figure. Like, a, a lot of people ask about him, that's why I started doing retro reviews, and he was one of the first that I did. Um, 
he's included in one of the best Kujis. Like, Jiren is one of my best figures. For sure, and if you have, like, uh, any sort of Ultra Instinct Goku, that's going to push you up that figure. Well, funny you say that, because the Ultra Instinct Goku that comes in that set is S tier. In my opinion. Where would I put uh, him? I think mean I would a put him... Or A tier, sorry. Um, <laughs> I think he's really good. Uh, scales really well with Jiren. I think some people have issues with his face, but in person, like, he looks really good. Um, I think they didn't do him justice in his pictures. Uh, I think he's the only figure in this set that came out overseas. Uh, he's really cool. I, I really like this Goku figure. He's dynamic for OU or UI Goku, and uh, I think people should should really consider him. I agree. Ultra <clears throat> Instinct Goku is probably one of the sickest forms, honestly. Yeah. All right. Uh, next in this omnibus is SS3 Goku. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which is honestly one of the sickest forms of Goku. Wow. Um. Oh no! Here comes my bias. Here comes my bias. No, no, I agree. Here comes my bias. No, I keep. No, I mean, yeah. All right. I'll. I mean, I'll you can put him in front of Broly if you wanted to. No, no, no. I, I, I think that's that's good. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 is one of my favorite forms. I it, agree. Uh, it, it, this figure looks incredible. I think this is better than the Grandista Super Saiyan 3, which is also incredible. Um, but I just think the, the likeness, the, the way that they sculpted his hair, the shading on his hair, his body sculpt, even though it's reused by another Master Lease that's on this list, uh, I think he just looks so good. Um, and just commands a lot of attention. I agree. It definitely draws a lot of attention to himself. Because he's in, he's in that iconic pose. I feel like, isn't it, aren't they, uh, wasn't it inspired by, like, right after he got done transforming into Super Saiyan 3? Yeah, it's very, it's, it looks a lot like that when he first does it. It's, he just doesn't have the halo. Oh, that would be sick. The Grandista has the halo. <clears throat> All right, uh, and then his Omnibus pair, I think, is better than Jiren. Kid actually, Boom. I'll put him right Kid under... Boom. Actually, I think I'm going to put him right here. Uh, yeah. That's, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think I like that. One of my best figures. I'm biased, but even if you're not biased, this figure looks incredible. Um, Bro, I mean, you know the Boo Saga is my favorite, too. Right? Yeah, we're both Boo, Boo Saga biased people here. Boo, but... Boo Saga gang. Gang, gang. Gang. Uh... Shading, paint, likeness, the pose is iconic. Like, oh yeah, dude, he looks so menacing. It, it's it's the perfect kid boo figure. <laughs> um, who else is in the omnibus? Ah, yes, yes. Oh, Brit, oh, uh, Ooh, yes. Space and names there. For a yes, this one is like a must-have. In, in the in the thing so mine had some qc issues on his paint but i know that's like not common um so so i i should not have docked points in my review because i think i did i think i gave him like a six out of seven um he, he's a seven out of seven uh in hindsight so i made a mistake it's okay to make mistakes um all right it, it, but he's incredible he's the center he's he's the back centerpiece of my saiyan saga shelf um and of course iconic like he fought Goku as a great ape and revealed that Goku was the one who killed his grandpa, pretty much. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. Just sucks that he's Japan exclusive. <clears throat> My voice I mean, I've is seen going. That, I've seen the figure on eBay, dude. It looks awesome. Yeah, he's worth every penny. He's worth every penny. All yeah, right. the deed in his fur looks great. Anyway, yeah, moving on. Moving, moving on. on. Uh, so that's I'll it for that omnibus. Time, What'd you say? So how long have we been recording? I don't even know. It's been uh, over an hour. <laughs> um, so that's it for that omnibus. Why don't you pick the next figure down here? Oh, what's, since we're since we just talked about the Zaku, let's talk about the Golden Zaku. Ooh, okay. This was one of my first Kuji sets. Uh, yeah, dude, I, I've actually seen that video too. So like that figure looks amazing. Like, uh, I think I put it right here. I agree. I've um, seen that on eBay as well, and it's all, honestly, it looks, they honestly, like, you can't get one Ozaru figure and be like, that's fine. Like, they all honestly demand attention and they yeah. all look great. Like, yeah, Th this one was awesome. Um, just, uh, it was the last one prize, Master Lee's. 
uh, Golden Uzaru. I think it had an overseas release, though, uh, oddly enough. Um, Golden Uzaru Goku is iconic from GT, um, and I, even if you're not a fan of GT, it's like a Golden Great Ape is freaking sick, dude. Um, and it, it's huge. Um, I have it on my special shelf here to the side. It, it just it looks awesome. So I, I, it's an S tier figure for sure. Um, I think the the entire set uh, of this Kuji is S tier. In fact, hold on, let me uh, let me think about this. Uh, uh, uh. You're in the right direction. I, I think that's what I would do. Um, that's the best Super Saiyan 4 Goku figure. Um, that's the best Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta figure. All right. I feel like we should talk, tell the people what we just said. Okay, sorry. I had to cut out because copyright music came on again. So, best Super Saiyan 4 Goku, best Super Saiyan 4 and only Master Lee Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and best Super Saiyan 4 Master Lee's Gogeta. And go Point at the people. Point at it for the people. What's that? The point point at the, the icon. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Best. 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 Um, so, those are, the, those are the Super Saiyan 4s. That's what we placed them. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. It, them and the Golden Uzaro, like, that That Kuji is, like, one of the most perfect Kuji. Um, Fire. It, just, yeah, all but bangers. Some people don't like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's face. They said his head is, his forehead is too nope. big. And I'm like, yeah. Dude. He has a big forehead. He has a big like, forehead. It's Vegeta. Like, yeah, he like, always I looks feel, like that. I feel personally attacked whenever people attack his forehead. So I'm like, that's basically me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Um, yeah, man. I, I think these figures are, are incredible. Um, and they are all S tier. A lot of people are searching and dying for them. Such a sick uh, form, dude. Like, yeah, GT didn't really give us a lot, but I mean, and it gave us Super Saiyan 4, it gave us Gogeta Super Saiyan 4, and I mean, honestly, like, you may not like GT, but you cannot say Super Saiyan 4 is not a sick ass form. Like, yeah, agreed. Oh, you know what I missed from an om that omnibus earlier? What? Goku Day. Oh, uh, say hello, good morning, Super Saiyan Goku. <laughs> say hello, good morning. <laughs> Nailed it, right? <laughs> uh, I'm going to put him here. Um, just to backtrack a little bit. Uh, I, a super unique Goku figure. He's got his biker jacket. He's got a Dragon Ball in his hand. And he's got the lighter Super Saiyan hair color because he uh, perfected Super Saiyan. Um, and he looks happy instead of, like, pissed off, you know? That's all I got to say about that. And I agree with you, brother. Bro, brother. Uh, <clears throat> all right, since we were on the topic of Super Saiyan 4. Uh, oh, you want to talk Vegeta. about the Xenos? Yeah, let's talk about the Xenos. Xenos. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Wait, which one is that? Is that Super Saiyan 4 Vegito? So this is one that I've never done a review on. Um, he's from the same Kuji as this Mask okay. Saiyan. Yeah, okay. Okay, um, I see him. He's done. Yeah, it's not the limit breaker. He. he I was about to throw a fit. He's he's pretty good. Uh, I think you can still buy him. His face is just kind of weird. Um, it's hard to tell in this picture, but when you see him in person, he he has kind of like a long face, I think. Um, and his his chin is like too. It's like pushed in. Like so, crimson chin. No, like, like, <laughs> nega chin, bro. <laughs> oh god. Um, his his chin is not big enough. Uh, his jaw is not big enough. So he's okay. He's fine. Unique figure. Um, ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna put him here. He's he's eh. He, he just looks kind of weird in the face. Gotcha. And that's you know that's kind of a important aspect of a figure. Being yeah, big. that's. I think it's <laughs> the most important. Like, how do they look in the face? Do they not look weird? Um, if their face looks weird, then it's it's probably going to ruin the whole thing. Doesn't really um, matter if everything else looks good. Yeah. And then this guy's in the Kuji. I think he's also kind of eh. I mean, um, just from that picture alone, he looks... 
His last one prize is probably oh. better than him because the one that I got is the one with his gi is like all glossy. And then the last one prize version is like not glossy at all. I um, just, dude, honestly, that that third one right there next to Freezy, he honestly doesn't even look like Goku. Yeah, that one yeah, his, doesn't look like Goku. Yeah, the, the faces in that Kuji were kind of weird. Like this, his face is weird in it. His face is kind of weird. You can't tell what his thing. face looks like because it's masked, so. I mean, that's a bonus points right there. I can't hook that up. Yeah, so I'm, I'm sure if I buy him, he'll probably be like B tier at least. So, um, yeah, uh, just ca- kind of a weird Kuji. Um, and Goku. <laughs> Goku. All right, Xenos. More Xenos. All right, Vegeta. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Um, yeah, bro. You already know, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love that figure. This is the like, best Vegito figure you can get. Seriously. Like, um, this is why, like, when I thought you were putting him down there in the B tier and shit, that's what I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, heresy. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm a bad up. <laughs> I mean, and, and, man, I think I called this the best Super Saiyan 4 Goku figure. You did. No, you did. Um, and I still kind of think it is. Look, as you can see, like, it's pretty much the same figure. Um, I mean, his, his, his head's like a little slightly tilted a little differently. Th- there are some minor differences on it, but I think they reuse some assets to make this figure. But his, I mean, his gi is completely different yeah. too. So I, I think he's S tier. He, he's, he's like, there. I, I, I mean, this figure is freaking S tier. Um, oh, dude, yeah. Where, where am I putting this boy though? Uh, I think he's, I think I, I like Vegito think- better. Yeah, I was going to say, he's not better than the Vegito, bro. Yeah. Like, I kept yeah. the Limit Breaker Broly, and I sold the base, the Super Saiyan 4 one. I mean, and I think the was... Super Saiyan 4 one's better. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say, honestly, dude, I don't think that one looks better. I yeah, made a mistake. I made so a right, mistake. I mean, like, what did, did you learn from it, though? No. <laughs> oh, okay, well, then, uh, panic. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, I learned from it. Uh, I mean, all the limit breaker forms, I think look super cool. It, it adds an extra flair to the design of super Saiyan four. It sucks that these figures are Japan exclusive because like when I saw them, I was like, yeah, I have to buy these. Like I absolutely have to buy these. Yeah, I agree. I, I do the Vegito. Love it. But then, but, oh yeah, like I was saying though, the black haired Broly looks way better. In my his opinion. colors are just, they pop a lot more with the yeah, blacks I and say, the reds. Dude, I don't know what it is. His face looks so much better with the black hair around it. Yeah, like, it, everything's the same. Just, I think the colors pop more with that one. I, I should not have sold him. I, 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 I probably say, have to rebuy him. I'm honestly very biased about it too, as a, a black and red are my, some of my favorite uh, color combinations besides black and white. Yeah, black and red is a great color combination. Um, yeah. There was a different Heroes Kuji um, with this boy. I think uh, I've seen, yeah, I think I'm not watching that, actually. I, I I prefer this King Cluster, but this one's still really good. And then this I mean, one's just a color variation, regular yeah, Super Saiyan I mean, 4. Yeah, I think the red-eyed one's definitely way cooler. It's definitely a lot different, and uh, it's menacing as hell. So, yeah. I mean, I'll... It's just it's super unique. It's it's dark Broly. Um, uh, if you look on this list, do you see anyone else with red eyes? I would say no. So I, that's pretty sick. Like, so you haven't seen this figure. Um, okay. Did you really have to make me look stupid so fast? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the joke. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. <laughs> I have to make a video on this figure. It is my favorite Trunks figure. Um, you, you definitely should with the Realm of the Gods uh, set being out right now. Oh, yeah, too. yeah. It's topical. I mean, Super yeah. Saiyan God, I'm biased. Favorite form. Um, Trunks yeah, just so looks good. so cool. He's got a sword, yeah. like, out in front of him, and he's just like... Woo. Yeah, bro. I think there's uh, an episode coming out soon where uh, we pull another SPR of him, and he looks so fucking cool, dude. Like, I'll oh, just wait. Okay, I'm ready. I love I love Brian's videos. Go subscribe to Brian. Uh, yeah, if you guys like card openings, you know it's no big deal. <clears throat> All right, we're we're wrapping up here. Uh, yeah, we're we're chugging along. We're 
Chugga 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 chugga. That's a little engine that could. Uh, yeah, I think this is good. Um, mask. What do you? Oh, uh, mask. Rose Saiyan? mask saying. Um, Dude, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I love that figure. I think that was my favorite favorite figure from. Uh, from wait, the heroes, the hero set with the limit breakers. No, I, I about to say, I think that was the set with the limit breakers. Never mind. The, I already said <laughs> my favorite. So I was about to say, hold on. I was like, I remember what set. He's he really from. good. That whole set's great. Uh, I, I think Dude, this figure has a lot of personality. The, yeah, no, I, I agree. And like the little pose that he's doing yeah, too. No. Like this little like. His little, JoJo like, pose? Yeah. What is it? It's <laughs> JoJo pose. Um, yeah, he, he, he looks sick. Um. One of the best, uh, definitely the best um, Rose Goku for Masterly's. Um, oh, for sure. Uh, I do like the Grand Dista ones better, but like, it, I mean, this it, this one's just different because he's in a different key and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he that, like he's about to pimp slap you like any second. Oh yeah, I was just get Supreme Kai. Supreme Kai, like she's in it too. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I mean, she looked. Uh, she's okay, dude. She's okay. She's cute. Uh, but she's not worth. Yeah. She's like Chaozu, where yeah. it's Japan like, exclusive, it's and she's not worth that much money. And like and that was honestly the worst figure in the whole set. Like, yeah, but like, it's like you're you're the worst in the best and one of the best Kujis. Like yeah, like they, they definitely could have did something way different with that. But I mean, it's whatever. Yeah, like, it is what it is. It's I mean, fun. they could have did, dude. Like if they were going with all this Zeno and Limit Breaker shit, they definitely could have done. Yeah, if you like the secret rare in the new set of Realm of the Gods, they could have done that. Like, yeah, that would have been a sick figure, dude. Oh my god. Like, yeah. Um. Uh, I think oh, that's all that, isn't it? History of Rivals. Is that, is that Goku? That is yeah. Goku. So this one, you can change his head to base form. Uh. I don't think I've seen that one. I have an older video on this one. Okay. I think it's some. I usually what what how I usually watch your old videos is what uh, pops up as my recommended. Yeah. So I um I don't know if I have much to say on it. I mean, it's it's Goku, it's Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. It's, yeah, this yeah. one is better if you can get it, but it's a, a gazillion dollars. Um, oh. This one can swap his head to base form if you want to change it to base form. Um, good size. It's like 10 inches. Uh, he's powering up with his arms out. So, um, so kind of a generic pose, but you know, it's fine. I, I would pay MSRP for him, Okay. but I think he's, uh, oh, oh, I th no, he's not Japan exclusive. I, I don't think he is actually. Um, uh, this Vegito, um, he's okay. He looks um, a little weird in the face. Uh, it, it just, I think it's just the picture. Um, oh, okay. He's he's good. Um, he's the only uh, uh, overseas uh, release from that superhero uh, Dragon Ball Super Dragon Ball Heroes Kuji that we just talked about. Yeah. So he's fine. I think his pose is kind of weird because he's just like got his hand up. It's almost like he's about to do like the Nazi salute or something. But oh, uh, wow. yeah. Uh, so it looks kind of weird, but it's fine. It, it's 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 not a it's not a bad figure. I'd, I'd pick it up if you don't have a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito. Um, I'm going to get a Vegito. Limit Breaker. I, uh, Sorry, I'm mumbling to myself. <laughs> just, just mumbling to yourself? Uh, yeah, like, if I'm going to get a Vegito, I'm getting that Limit Breaker, bro. <laughs> uh, this one's really good. The, this E-Moving Goku. Um... You can swap his head to base form right before he first goes Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan when his eyes are all white and he just goes Super Saiyan for the first time to this oh. when he's glaring at Frieza. Um, so he that. has, yeah, he, he has interchangeable pieces. Um, there's an old video that I did of him on my channel too. For the longest time, he was the king of my collection. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, just the attention to detail is really, really good. I mean, dude, that that other that alternate face with like the white and like the white eyes and stuff that sounds awesome. I'll yeah, find, I'll find yeah, yeah. Google one. it. Just Google like uh, uh, Goku Dragon Ball Legend Battle Goku. I think that's what it's called. Okay. We're gonna have to send that. What I'll forget. 
this is the best Super Saiyan Blue Goku figure. Uh, Which one is that? Uh, this is from the movie anniversary. Um, I think I would put him here. And then there's also a Super Saiyan version that I don't have. Um, but yeah, this figure is really, really freaking cool. Have you done a video on that one? No, I, I haven't. He, he, I got him when I first started collecting. He was like one of my, like my fifth figure or something. Um, oh, wow. So before I even started a channel for figures. So, uh, is there a little nostalgic bias behind it? There's a little bit of nostalgic bias behind it, but I'm sure if you ask anyone who owns this figure, they'll tell you that it's it's either the best Goku or they're like one of the best Gokus. Uh, I, it's not my favorite. But it's up there, like, obviously. It, it is an incredible figure. If you get it in blue or Super Saiyan, it's totally up to you. Um, but I have the blue form, and it's super awesome. I have them on my Broly shelf. Um, you, you can see him right here in the video. Um, he's right next to the, the tag team Goku Vegeta. Uh, he, it's just an awesome figure. Like, likeness, pose, everything. <laughs> All right. All right, we're back. <laughs> okay back. sorry about that we're back um <laughs> i don't even remember where we stopped <laughs> i think we took a oh yeah we were talking about the, this goku okay we, we finished that thought though i think i think our, our point yeah, is we there did. um let's do okay there's two kuji sets left here plus a couple of other ones okay so there's this ui goku and i'm gonna put him here um i mean his I, hair looks pretty cool but i mean so it's, so it's like weird he's f f okay i guess like i bought him when i stopped reviewing figures for a while and just his proportions are really kind of weird and like his skin looks li a little too plasticky like instead of like having like a nice paint finish to make it look a little yeah. more realistic. So he's not the greatest. Um, I'm almost tempted to put him in D tier because like, I don't know. That I'm going to put him at the top of D yeah. tier. No, let's just put him there then. Like he's trash, but he's the king of trash. Yeah. I, I resold him pretty quickly. I, I was really disappointed with him. Um, just, and, and I don't even remember, like, everything I hated about him. I know those were two glaring things. And I was just like, ah, oh, this looks like cheap stuff. Um, Yeah, we can't have that. All right, edging right behind this Vegeta is this one. Oh, dude, yeah, that Majin Vegeta looks sick. Yeah, so this one also has interchangeable heads. It's the E-moving Majin Vegeta. So I have him doing uh, the final explosion, so his face is like he's yelling. Um, and, oh, his, no. and his head is tilted back, but you can put this, this one on if you want to, um, great detail, good battle damage, best looking Majin Vegeta figure. It's still better than the Maximatic one. Um, even though that one's a really good. Have you done a figure on that one? Or I'm a figure. Have you done a video? On it? Yeah. One of my earliest reviews, actually. I'll go back and look for that one too. Um, it looks good just from that picture though. It looks awesome. Yeah, he is awesome. Okay. Speaking of which, uh, I was just, the sad yeah. music kicked in. So and I, was just I don't like, know if this is is this a is this copyright? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna change it just in case. I, I yeah, think it's, I think it's copyright. Gohan's anger theme. Yeah, I think it might be. Be right back, folks. It's all right. I'll just cut this part out. I was gonna say I'll start singing for us. <laughs> Boom. All right, so we're going to have to jump back in and tell the people what we just did? No. Um, okay. All right. Uh, sorry, we had to cut that out because there was more copyright music. But, yeah, there is. Uh, so so this Majin Vegeta is great. Um, one of my earliest awesome. reviews, a lot of great details. But let's jump into the second to last Kuji set that we haven't talked about yet. It's the Ultimate Variations. Um, uh, man, I resold these Gokus. I think I'm going to put them here. Um, they're, they're like really skinny. They don't have a lot of detail. There's not a lot of flair to them. Um, 
the the UI sign Goku, like I don't know. I, there's just nothing like great about them. Like nothing that I would tell people to like go and buy. And I think they're Japan exclusive too. So I'm just like, it's not worth uh, it. Extra for nothing. Yeah, like I'm like it's not worth it. There's way better UI figures out there that you can get. Like these are not worth your money. Um, I agree. And, like his hair looked whack. Yeah, I think I might have even liked them when I first reviewed them, and then like as time went on, I was just like, these suck. <laughs> like yeah and you're like no yeah um this goku though is pretty cool he's like charging i got uh kamehameha um uh, or I, I, he's a tier for sure um, uh i think I'd say, be... I say between the the two broly uh colored variants these yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i'm okay with that i think he's a little better than this yeah so he's cool um, his face is a little weird. Uh, like, yeah, I'll, I'll admit. Like... Go ahead. Well, I, I, I was just going to say, I'll admit, like, his face is a little weird. But, like, yeah, it's not like... it's not that bad at all. His hair looks cool, too. Like, kind of flung a little bit to the side there. Yeah, hair but... looks good. Um, it, it, Like, there's detail as if, like, the wind is blowing against him as he's charging up a Kamehameha. Um, so... You know, I like it. I think it's dynamic. I have it on my Broly shelf. I dig it. Uh, this this Vegeta's from that set, and I I gotta say mm -hmm. he he does look weird. <laughs> he does look weird. He's charging a Gallic gun, but like his face only looks good from a very specific angle. But otherwise, he looks really weird. Um, I've always thought the way he shoots his Gallic gun is weird. I like his pose because it's like one hand is like turn in or whatever. Like it is uh, uncomfortable, but yeah, dude, like I'm doing it right now. It's, this is so yeah, it's weird. Like, it's like, like this. Yeah. But uh, yeah, his face is weird. Uh, I, I wouldn't put him in D tier, but yeah. Yeah. This Kuji had a lot of weird uh, additions. It had Shenron in it though. And it had one of the uh, King Cluster Broly's that I, that I put in B tier, but yeah, uh, this Gogeta, though, that came in the set, I think is A tier. Um, I did not get both versions. Um, I didn't get the Super Saiyan one. I had the blue one, but I replaced him after this Gogeta came out because they're pretty much the same figure. Um, oh, wow. I'd maybe put him, like, right here. That picture of him looks weird. Of um, the blue hair one. No, no, he looks pretty good. Um, I, I don't think there's anything wrong about him. I just think this one looks better in the face. This is when he was right about to fight Broly, and he was doing, like, the combination of Goku's battle pose plus Vegeta's battle pose with, like, one hand in front and one to the side. Um, like, it, it happens for a brief second. Like, it's a, it's a miss it, blink and you miss it kind of moment. Oh, gotcha. But, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to go over my favorite Ichiban Kuji of all time now. Um, oh, wow. This was one of my very first Ichiban Kuji. These are some of my most viewed videos on the channel. Um, so I think a lot of people have no, like, kind of my thoughts behind it. We're going to start with my least favorite in the set, and that's uh, Vegito. A lot of people don't like his face, and I totally understand yeah, why. Um, but he's... Th these are all Masterly's extra figures, so they're all big. Um, he's highly detailed. Uh, and he's, he's really good. Like, just his face looks kind of weird. Um, yeah, like, it's just... Uh, I think I mean, it's the way he's, like, looking at you or something. I don't know. Like, All right, like I'll be fair. I'm going to be fair. I'm going to put him here. Um, That's so funny, because, like, while I'm, like, looking at him, I keep ma I kept making that noise. So I just... I don't know. <laughs> Not to me, that's funny. It's just hard to justify, like, how weird he looks in the face. Like, yeah, man. Like, like, everything like, else about him is really good, but his face is, like... Sick. Yeah, his face is just weird. It just when I look at his face, it just it just doesn't say Vegeta. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. Um, the Gogeta, however, dude, that looks is the oh best, my god, the best Gogeta figure. Oh ever my find. god, was anyone else expecting that? I was not expecting them. They are incredible. Um, Which one are those again? This uh, is I, this is the Extreme Saiyan Ichiban Kuji. 
Um, they're both Masterly's extras. Uh, was that four that you got with like the three different or with the? No, the no. so this is an older uh, review that I did. Um, there's there's a variation of God and or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan and uh, base. Um, he's big. He's like 12 inches tall. Damn. Uh, highly detailed. His face is perfect. Um, like incredible figure and literally. Uh, I'm going to count them as one figure just because they're color variants, but the oh. second best figure in my entire collection. Damn. Because the okay. best figure in my entire collection is this UI Goku. Specifically his last one prize. Um, for is all that the, the one that's sitting on your uh, big, sh uh, big white shelf? Yes. So, oh, okay. Um, the, the, if you guys haven't checked out it's the room review of his figures, you guys should go check that out. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, so there's a room tour where, where I showed off all these figures. Um, these are still the king in my collection, specifically the UI sign with the black hair. Um, he, he does look amazing. He's incredible. Like, if you haven't seen that review of mine, go back and look at it. Uh, it's, it's still, it still holds up today. He's easily the king of my collection. Um, if you try and buy these figures um, on eBay... Their prices are ridiculous, um, but the last one prize, uh, UI signed Goku, is easily the best figure in my entire collection due to his size, his detail, the sculpt, the face. Like, everything you want in a figure is perfected in this Goku figure. Um, so he's easily the best one uh, in my entire collection. Um, but I think with that, we are done. This is my, yeah. this is my tier list. Uh, thank you, Brian, so much for helping. Um, no problem, <clears throat> I think this is pretty accurate. I, I don't think I would really change anything. Um, we'll probably come back to this in like another year or something once more Master Release figures come out, and then we'll start yeah. adding them to the list and maybe move some other figures around. Because as you can see, some of my thoughts change on these figures over time. Um, I think a lot of the S tier figures are probably not ever going to leave, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I agree. Um, dude, I can't wait for the fear of the Android set. And then the next back to the film with that Janemba dude, I'm so ready oh, yeah. for that Janemba. History of the film. Um, there's a lot of Kuji. There's another Omnibus coming out this year. There's, um, the Dragon Ball superhero Kuji coming out this year. So there's a lot. Um, we're pretty excited for it. Um, and I can't wait to, uh, come back to this tier list and see what changes. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, sorry that, that this is a longer one, but I wanted to make it, you know, extra special for you guys and go through as, as much as this as detailed as possible for you. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, so that way you get notified whenever I make a new video. Um, and, of course, subscribe to uh, Brian's channel. He's a great guy. Makes a lot of fun videos. I think he's hilarious, um, even though that uh, he sucks at Pokemon card pulls because I'm way better than him. You should go watch that video. Uh, I was hoping we were going to bring that up, dude. And, you know, my dumbass was, like, looking at my camera, like, different signs, my hands. I'm like, they can't fucking see me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.